Now, as they try to find their footing in this red-hot Trump economy, the 2020 Democrats are resorting to hyperbole and endless and predictable personal attacks. Their instinct is to demean, not debate. Are we a nation that believes ripping children from the arms of their parents at the border? No, we don't, but Trump does. So you definitely would, uh, would agree that he's a racist? I do, yes, yes. We have a president today who is a racist, who is a sexist, who is a religious bigot. But that is the damn truth. No, Bernie, it's not the darn truth. I'm not saying your word. Now, this is all sound and fury signifying zip. And it's hard to see that any of this is really moving the needle with independents or, heaven forbid, Trump voters. Yet in the absence of a compelling agenda, the Democrats are left to marinate in their own radicalism. And how extreme have they become? Well, they now believe that the Constitution allows for fully viable, innocent babies, both pre-born and born, to be killed by the most gruesome measures. The infant would be delivered. Uh, the infant would be kept comfortable. Uh, the infant would be resuscitated if, if that's what the uh, mother and the family desired. And then a discussion would ensue between the physicians and the mother. To this day, none of the 2020 Democrats, now there are 20 Three of them. None of them have condemned that statement by the still sitting Virginia Governor Northam. Now, in fact, they all seem to be on board with what he said. But of course, they call it something else. They call it women's reproductive health or just, and I love this, a choice. As if we're talking about picking out a handbag or a pair of earrings. The only ones who don't get a choice in this equation are the baby and the father, ever. There is a well-funded attack coordinated by right-wing extremists to deny women the right to control their own bodies and their own futures. I trust women to draw the line when it's their own. Government should not be in the business of telling a woman what she should do with her own body. I think that the Hyde Amendment should be repealed and that we actually need to make sure that women, regardless of their income level, have a basic right to reproductive care. Lots of euphemisms. Now, rather than trying to appeal to the vast middle class of America, the Democrats are trying to out one another in the Radical Olympics. And not just on the issue of abortion, but on a lot of other cultural issues as well. Uh, for instance, such as gender identification. We talked about that last week. Now, this radical social agenda was originally developed and conceived in the academy. And it was meant to upend the old order, the traditional family structure, that has been at the core of every major civilization throughout history. And this new world or order, this new worldview, was then mainstreamed by the popular culture and eventually embraced by Democrats and even some Republicans. And it has now become a new politically correct orthodoxy, and it's extremist and totally unyielding. On issues such as gender and abortion, its adherents are vicious. If you dare disagree with their worldview, they believe that you should lose your job and, frankly, be banished forever from the public square. And no, I'm not exaggerating. But it wasn't always this way. This was Barack Obama back in 2008. Define marriage. I believe that marriage uh, is the union between a man and a woman. Now, for me as a Christian, for me, for me as a Christian, it's also a sacred union. Now, in his book, David Axelrod revealed that Barack Obama was lying when he said that, that he was just basically saying that to get elected. And a lot of people have evolved, that's for sure. Well, just like now, we know that Hillary Clinton was lying when she said this. We can support a woman's right to choose that makes abortion safe, legal, and rare, and reduces the number of abortions. What happened to the rare part? A million a year? At least now the Democrats have unmasked themselves. It's kind of liberating. The euphemisms about a woman's choice, they don't really work anymore now that the New York State Legislature gave itself a standing ovation 
is they went far beyond the old language and legalized infanticide. Yet much of the country is becoming more pro-life. You'd never know it by reading a lot of the newspapers, particularly in the later stages of pregnancy. This has been the case for some time. Now, Democrats think that the new Alabama law that outlaws most abortions, they think it gives them a huge opening in 2020. They've been looking for an opening. But as usual, they misread the country. First, Alabama didn't pass the law to score political points. Alabamans passed the law because they believed that they were saving the lives of innocent babies. For Christians and others who believe abortion is the taking of an innocent life, no amount of vilification of their position by Hollywood, or the news media, or Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, anybody is going to change their moral determination. Trump, by the way, recognized this in 2016. If you go with what Hillary is saying, in the ninth month, you can take the baby and rip the baby out of the womb of the mother just prior to the birth of the baby. Now, you can say that that's okay, and Hillary can say that that's okay, but it's not okay with me. In normal press settings, Democrats are rarely asked uncomfortable specifics about what it is, abortion. And they're usually able to skate through with generalities and bromides that we've heard a thousand times before. Now, Trump, I don't think, lets his opponents glide by so easily. And second, regarding those so-called experts who think that the social issues are going to hurt Republican prospects, I'll remind you that many of these same experts have been saying the same thing since Roe versus Wade was decided back in 1973. And remember, these are many of the same people who said Trump would lose in 2016 for the same reasons. Trump's comments on abortion and his vow to select Supreme Court justices who would overturn Roe versus Wade likely won't help his pitch to women voters. Donald Trump has no idea about women, about women's health, and his entire campaign has been this scorched earth attitude. Just one question. Who's in the White House today? And that's the angle.